Here we have a Volkswagen diagnostic dongle that came in for repair. The guy came in from a dealership and he brought in two pieces. We already fixed one and I thought, let me do a video on this one here. Based on visual inspection, I see that somebody worked on this connector before. It looks like possibly a damaged connector and I see a lot of work has been done to this area right here. We got those dongles in every single day from every dealership in the world. Let's take a look at this one and see what's going on. Look at this. Now the first one I worked on by the same dealership also had a repair attempt, but it was not that bad. Check on pin number one, it looks solid. Check on pin number two. Pin number two looks like both the pad and the pin are moving. So we need to possibly run a trace from here to right here. And this one here connects with this pin right here and it looks solid this one looks solid and this one looks solid where should we start most dealerships that mail those stuff over or bring them into our shop they choose expedited service and that's what the customer asked expedited service he brought the dongles in today and we are working on them today they can possibly pick up by later today or tomorrow the dealership is about an hour away, so they may not be able to pick up today. But we're going to let them know when we are done with this one. The other one is already fixed. And this one here is on the way. Look at this blob of solder here. We do not need to wake that blob off because it's already disconnected from the board. It's crazy how the dealership is paying so much money for this dongle and they cannot make a through hole connector. If the connector is not through hole, that's what's gonna happen. Technicians using this dongle are usually rough they're rough with the connector. Just the nature of their job. So those connectors should have been a lot stronger. Four through hole pins, or maybe all the pins should be through hole. The front pins, the front five pins, and the four side pins. All of them should have been through hole. And the connector will last forever. Unless there's physical damage onto the connector, then we can change it. We are using genuine Amtec Flux. And as most of you know, we are a distributor of Amtec Flux. And whatever tools we are using on our bench here, the Braidwick, Flux, Tweezers, you can purchase off our site. We have all tools in stock and orders almost always ship out same day. You can buy everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, tweezers, pliers, power supplies, Charging stations, voltage injection tool, thermal camera, macro lens for the thermal camera. We have all items in stock. Just log into the site, add whatever you want to the shopping cart, check out, pay. And your package almost always ship out same day. So now that we have the board cleaned up, we're going to grab a new connector. We're gonna apply flux on the sides so we can solder and secure the connector in place and then we can do the front. Now we're not gonna be able to properly secure the connector from the back, but that's okay. Because I have a special technique that we're gonna apply when we are done soldering this connector. Very nice. 
and maybe we can do this. We secured one end of the connector. Let's do this one here. Now that the connector is secured, let's go ahead and solder the front pins. Pin number one is solid. Pin number two is solid, pin number three, pin number four, and pin number five. Amazing. We did an awesome job. All we have to do is test, make sure the dongle is working. And we're going to secure this further so it's less likely that the dongle will snap off in the future. If we plug in the cable, we see the LED lights, and then we're gonna see the green light, and then we're gonna see a blinking blue light. Right there. We're done. The final step is we're going to use hot glue, but how? We're going to melt hot glue like this. And I have a tiny piece here, so we're going to melt hot glue along with my fingers, but that's okay. What's a finger or two between friends, right? And we're gonna go like this. Let's wait until it hardens. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. This alone will not work. Applying hot glue onto the edge of the connector is a joke. It's not gonna work. But wait, you have to wait until the end. We're gonna apply some from this side here and just like that and we're gonna wait until glue hardens and then I'm gonna call on Big Boss the glue here is not gonna secure the connector we can easily remove this glue if you point with your tweezer you should be able to easily remove this glue but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call on Big Boss we're gonna heat up this glue again so it softens and then while it's soft Big Boss is gonna insert the motherboard inside the shell housing he's gonna press it in and then screw the shell housing what that will do is fill in the gaps and it's gonna secure that connector in place so the connector is less likely to snap in the future so what we're gonna do is heat up the glue again until it's soft it doesn't have to be too soft just like that and then I'm going to hand it over to Big Boss so he can insert it inside the shell. See? The motherboard went inside the shell. He pressed the shell on the motherboard. And now the connector is not going anywhere. So it's less likely now that the connector will snap off or move. The connector, the glue will harden. And better than factory what do you think we are done i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think leave it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video